was a cold December night, a week before Christmas. My family always does Christmas in our Hamptons, New York summer house. The Hamptons are always quiet this time of year, as a large chunk of the real estate that is owned by rich people who have two or three other houses elsewhere in the country. My dad and I were at the house first, before the rest of my family, as my mom and sister still had to work until the next weekend. My dad was retired at the time, and school was over for me for winter break. We wanted to just go to the Hamptons house early. We all have our own bedrooms in this house, which sits on a quiet dead end road. My dad turned on the heat and water and all the stuff that he always has to take care of when we return for the first time in months. I bought my PS3 to play in my room. I spent most of my first days there playing video games. On the first night, we were there. There was a big snowstorm, another reason we wanted to come early to beat the crappy road conditions that would come for days after the storm. The next morning when I woke up and went out to the kitchen, my dad asked me when I built a snowman. I responded, what do you mean? He said the snowman in the backyard. I went to look out the window and there was at least two feet of fresh snow, but there was also a snowman sitting in our backyard. He had two sticks for arms, angled into the air, and he had eyes and a smile carved into the head. The eyes and mouth side was facing the window. I said to my dad, I didn't build that. My dad left and said, must be the neighbor's kid. My dad thought it was an innocent joke. So did I. As well, the next night is where things got bad though. I was in bed asleep and suddenly woke up to the distant thump on my window. I was terrified. I pulled the blankets over myself to hide, to not be in view of whoever might be out there. But after five minutes, I started to wonder, maybe it was snow that fell off the roof and blew into the window. I got up to peek out the window. I screamed because at first I thought what I saw was a person. But it was actually another snowman standing right outside my window. There was an angry frown on this one instead of a smiling face. I screamed for my dad and he came rushing inside. I pointed at the window. At this time, he wasn't happy. He said he would go next door in the morning and talk to the kid's parents. I slept in my sister's room the rest of that night. The next morning, my dad went next door and rang the bell, but they weren't home. There were no cars in the driveway. That meant they weren't even in town. That was the only nearby house with kids in it, so this didn't exactly help explain the situation. For five or six days straight, nothing else happened until Christmas Eve night. The rest of our immediate family Thus, all four of my grandparents were now in the house. We were in the living room. This was before dinner, but it was already dark. Someone knocked on the front door instead of using the doorbell. We weren't expecting any other family. I started to get nervous. My dad went over and asked, Who is it? Someone on the other side of the door started saying, Please let me in. I need help. The door has no peephole or window, nor are there any windows that would allow us to see who was on the other side of the door. My dad asked what's wrong, and the voice on the other side said, I have no one to spend Christmas with. Please help me. We all looked at each other now, and my dad yelled to please leave before we call the police. The person on the other side said, okay, I'll leave. Please don't call the police. He never opened the door. We instantly tied this to the creepy snowman we knew. It had to be connected and we were right. On Christmas morning, there was a note tapered on our front door. 
he said to the best of my memory, I just wanted to have a little fun. I built a snowman for the boy in the house. I don't have anyone to spend the holiday with. Hurt. In one way or another, I think whoever left that note on our door and built those snowmen were mentally ill or unstable. It's very unlikely that it was meant to be a joke, considering he came to our front door. I think he was dangerous, and even if he wasn't inherently hostile, the fact he did what he did is just enough for him to be considered somebody none of us wanted to meet.